Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. Uh, a debut here for an orc army. It's Alex Cottis. His here has brought his orcs along, and they will take on the Thousand Sons in this fight. And it's an Imperial outpost here, uh, abandoned by the Imperium. Chaos in the area, and orcs sweeping through as well. These two sides will collide across this terrain. All right, so uh, 2,000 points here at Orcs versus Thousand Suns. Uh, so I'm going to run through the Thousand Suns list here. Uh, it's been tried and tested, but um, a fresh test for them here against uh, the Orcs. So it's a battalion detachment, battle forged, also Supreme Command as well. Just going to take one relic this time. So we'll have uh, the nine command points here in total for uh, this force. So, uh, Supreme Command then, it's the Sorcerers here. Uh, I'll go through the Psychic Powers in just a moment. I've given them nicknames just to help me remember uh, who they are during the game and the powers that are allocated to them. So, Beaker here, it's one with the Beak. Uh, they're all armed the same with the Staves and Warp Flame Pistols for each of those. One of them on a disc, all Exalted Sorcerers. And, and then there's Disco Inferno here on the disc. And then at Chicken Wing, the one with the Chicken Wing just there. So that's the Supreme Command, that's the command point for that. Uh, then the Battalion Detachment, two HQs, this Araman here, he's not the Warlord, uh, put, him, put him on a disc, uh, and then the Warlord here is uh, the Demon Prince, paid for wings, and two sets of Malefic Talons as well. Then for troops, I actually have four, three units of ten Zangors, all armed with Zangor blades, uh, and then a unit of ten Rubik Marines, with Soul Reaper Cannon, uh, an aspiring sorcerer there with the stave and a warp flame pistol. Uh, icon of flame on this uh, marine here, and then two of these with the warp flamers. Then uh, heavy support, just for chapter approved 2018, uh, the, the points reductions for this list managed to fit in a third Maul of Fiend, all armed the same here with uh, Lasher Tendrils and the Maul of Fiend Fists. And then finally two units of uh, Occult Terminators here uh, with the Inferno. Combi Bolters, uh, Soul Reaper Cannon for one of them, Stave here, and Combi Bolter for uh, the Aspiring Sorcerer, and then Hellfire Missile Rack as well. Power Swords uh, for their combat weapons, two units of five all armed the same. Psychic Powers, uh, so uh, the Demon Prince with the Wings, Infernal Gateway and Gaze of Fate for him, Araman, Zinch's Firestorm, Infernal Gaze and Death Hex uh, for him. Beaker has Temporal Manipulation and Prescience. Uh, Chicken Wing has Glamour of Zinch and Weaver of Fates. Uh, Disco has Diabolic Strength and Warp Time. And then Doom Bolt for uh, the Aspiring Sorcerers in each uh, of these squads just here. It's an array of psychic powers here. It's a, a quite a unique playstyle here for these Thousand Suns. They are heavily outnumbered here by the Orcs, uh, but they have Dark Sorcery on their side. So uh, that's the list. Just to mention at this point the Patreons. So special thanks to Marcus Anthony, Paul Cook and Adam Bateman for their support at gold level. Uh, and then you can see the silver level Patreons in the end credits. And thanks also to those supporting at bronze level. I set up a Patreon page. It's to help support the club here at SSWG. Uh, this is their new terrain that they've put together here. Uh, it's all volunteers uh, chipping in uh, to create these great terrain pieces that we're able to use in our games. I've set up a Patreon page just to say thanks to them and all the proceeds uh, that go through uh, go straight to the club. And as a reward, you can get your name shouted out in the battle report uh, at gold level and then at silver level. Uh, the names appear in the end credits for all those that support the club. So it's Striking Scorpion 82 on Patreon and it helps support a great War Games club. All right, so uh, we'll take a look now and see uh, what the Orcs have in their list. All right, so uh, 2,000 points of Orcs here. It's a debut on the channel. Alex Cottis has brought his Orcs along to challenge uh, the Thousand Sons. We'll let him run through his list. Here's my 2,000 points of Orcs. I'm running a battalion and a vanguard detachment. In the battalion detachment, there's two squads of 20 Orc boys, each with two tank buster bombs, a big shooter, and a knob with power claw. There's also a 30-man squad with three big shooters, three tank busters, and a knob with power claw. Leading it is my war boss. Uh, Mega Armour is an index choice with a custom shooter and power claw. He's also got the cunning but brutal warlord trait and the killer claw relic. 
Helping him out is a big mech with custom force field and two weird boys, both upgraded to the warp head stratagem. Uh, this weird boy has the jump and warpath, and the second weird boy has warpath and fists of gork. In the vanguard detachment, there's two squads of tank busters, ten in each squad, each with two bomb squigs riding in a truck. They're supported by a Morkanaut with a custom force field and also a Dakajet with six super shooters. All right, so that's Alex's list here. It's, uh, we've seen a lot of these on the Challenge the Scorpion games. Nice themed armies here. Uh, and again, for the Orcs, very strong theme running for these. A lot of effort's gone into the, these here. Uh, names, these uh, really cool tags here at the front you're able to put on the bases. And it is Captain Deathbeard here with a pirate theme with his peg leg in the chest of <laughs> Crimson Fist Reaver just there. A lot of effort's gone in. Really good stuff. Two... Uh, that's the regular uh, Weird Boy. This one's a conversion from Age of Sigma. Looks like he's got a name as well. Gandalf. Oh, I see. Oh, Gandalf. Yeah, got it. <laughs> okay, that's one. Uh, we've got one here. This is from, uh, you should know, this is uh, Boom Chucker. That's his name. And that's from the, I don't have this unit for the Orcs. Uh, so flash kit. Flash kits, that's the one. Superb kit. And making use of that as uh, the squad leader uh, for the tank busters there. Very good idea. Uh, then these strange contraptions here used as <laughs> better wagons parts. Uh, stolen here from the Tau. Uh, and then that's the front plate from uh, Gene Steeler Colts. This is. Yes. Wow. Yeah, okay. Uh, another truck here. It's great to have a variety of the trucks. Uh, instead of that uniform kit, uh, it's great to have a variety here. Different coloured squigs as well. Red, blue, yellow and purple here as well. Another uh, flash kit kit here. Rocket Ralph. Oh, very good. <laughs> Excellent names here. Uh, there's some Bulgrins have been used here. Or Ogrins. Ogrins or Bulgrin kit here. This one's called Stomp. Uh, but been converted over into Orcs. The skin just painted green and then converted over. This one here, Chomp. I think one of my favourites. Absolutely superb. It's given everyone here a bit of inspiration for their own kit bashing ideas for the Orcs. That's a, a Renegade Ogryn mm -hmm. from Forge World converted over uh, Doc Gut Stitcher. Okay, familiar name. And that's a real now that he's got in his arm just there. And then we'll take a look at this one here. This is the Mega Knob. So that's the Hero's Base from Games Workshop. War Boss Grucked Ed Crusher. And then uh, Kit Bashed Claw here. That's Kill Killer Can. Mm -hmm. Parts from Orc Bikers as well. All put together, and in the body, if you can guess, is from Lord of the Rings. The old metal troll. Buddy. The old metal troll. Okay, there's a bit of weight to this one here, but uh, orcs, I think, the best faction in 40k for kit bashing, and really letting your imagination run right. And that's exactly what's happened here uh, with Alex's army. So great work, just giving you a close-up view of the effort that's gone into some of these models. All right, so uh, that's the orc list. We'll take a look at scenario and deployment now uh, for this battle. All right, so we have a scenario here. It's been randomly determined. We've gone to Chapter Proof 2017, Eternal War, Mission Number 2. Uh, it's Resupply Drop and Spearhead Assault for the Deployment. Uh, we've placed six objectives on the table, and uh, Alex placed the last objective. So we determined the map, uh, Spearhead Assault, and he's chosen to go at this end here. So the purple line of dice here marking the Orc Deployment Zone. Uh, then there's the dice in the centre of the table, and then uh, the Thousand Suns deploying at this end uh, of the board here. The objectives then, uh, there's six of them, one here just inside the Thousand Suns deployment zone, one here just outside of their deployment zone, again another just outside of their deployment zone, and then for the Orcs, objective number two here is inside their deployment zone, uh, objective number five just outside, and then well inside their deployment zone is objective number six. So, uh, Slay the Warlord, First Blood, and Line Breaker, all available in this mission. And then the way this game works, it's actually going to turn into a two-point objective game. Uh, at the start of turn, or battle round three, uh, the player whose turn it is will 
pick three objectives, they'll become the alpha objectives. Then there's a D3 randomization. Uh, one of those objectives is chosen. The other two are removed from play. And that becomes uh, their objective. And then the other player, when it comes to their uh, third turn, will do the same. Uh, the other three objectives, they'll D3 uh, randomize one of those. Uh, and then the remaining two removed from play. That'll mean there'll be just two objectives on the board. Those are the objectives that need to be captured and defended. Uh, each worth three victory points at the end of the game. So that's the mission here. It's going to revolve around these two objectives. I think both armies are going to need to... Uh, initially, I think they'll focus on trying to kill each other as per usual in 40k, uh, but it will revolve around these objectives here. It's going to be an important part of this mission if either side wants to go on to win the game. We'll start alternating placing units on the board. Right, let's just mention the battle mat that we're using here. It's from Game Mat. Dot eu uh, so it's six by four rolls out nice and flat uh, some of the terrain that we're using as well this industrial set here uh, is from gamemat.eu as well uh, so you can check them out for your supplies of 40k terrain and then a vast array of battle mats available from them as well Right, so deployment's done here. It's pretty quick, actually. Uh, both sides are putting their units down. Uh, just to mention, uh, Brutal Book Cunning for the Warlord trait, and, and he is the Warlord, the war boss here. Right. Okay, and it's Evil Sons is the clan culture here for the Orcs. Uh, we'll cover their deployment first. So, the Horde of Orc Boys in the centre. It's quite sort of classic Orc deployment here. Characters buried in amongst uh, the Orc Boy ranks. Uh, then across it, uh, Morkonaut in amongst the boys as well. Just behind him, the Big Mech. Uh, then... Uh, the Weird Boy, the Wow Banner is here as well. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, the Tank Busters just here, and then on the other flank, the other unit of Tank Busters uh, just there as well. Uh, and then the uh, Daka Jet here at the back. No reserves, no. none. Okay, everything the Orcs have is on the table, just the units to disembark from their transports at some point during the game. Or not, they may want to stay inside. And then across here, Thousand Sons, they do have reserves. The two units of Terminators will come in from the warp. Uh, and then it's a Zangor line running across here. One, two, three units. The Sorcerer's all here. Beaker, Chicken Wing, uh, the Demon Prince, Araman, uh, and Disco Inferno as well on top. The Mauler Fiends have stretched out on the right-hand flank. All three of those preparing to move up, but I've held them back a bit here. We reckon the move from these, plus the range... Range 24 with the rockets, plus a 12 inch, a 13 inch move, a potential advance of 7. Yep, plus 1 to advance. Plus 1 to advance, and the ability to fire their assault weapons without mod modifiers. That's right. <laughs> That's perhaps the fastest, scariest mechanised tank busters we've seen so far. So, Thousand Sons wary of that. We don't want to lose our armour uh, too early on in the game. But these Mauler Fiends are designed to get stuck in, so it'll try and. Getting close, we'll have to see what happens with them. The last unit I deployed was the unit of Rubik Marines. I've actually put them right out in front here, just a bit further ahead, uh, getting ready uh, with their Inferno bolters to fire. That's deployment done. Uh, the Orcs finish deploying first, so Alex will have plus one to the roll-off here to see who goes first. So I guess we'll do that now. So Orcs can roll off first here. Get old blast, he's rolled a six. So I'm just going to immediately just try and seize the initiative. Uh, no. You can go first. Yeah. yeah, we'll let you go first. I can't see any reason to try and... No, no, we'll, um, we'll leave that. We'll let you go first here. So the Thousand Suns, who knows why, will let the Orcs move first here in this fight. Uh, it's two very different styled armies here about to collide. I don't think it's going to take too long before we see these two armies on top of each other. We'll go on to turn one. The Orcs will make the first move.
All right, so we are on turn one here, but Alex just making his first moves. So, the truck's making its move here. It's advanced two inches. It's just advanced two inches. Yeah, movement 12, plus one to the advance, plus one to move. Okay, because red ones go faster. Yeah, that's the... That's what the Orcs think, but they are moving quicker, these vehicles here. And whilst we've um, getting ready to move here, we've been discussing Lord of the Rings a lot here. I think it's because the terrain has brought the subject up here. Uh, this is club terrain here at SSWG, freshly finished and making good use of it here. But it suits, the, look, the Thousand Suns look good here, and the Orcs moving through the ruins as well. Uh, so there is sort of shadows of Lord of the Rings themes going on here. Uh, and some of your models, actually as well yeah. <laughs> from lord of the rings as well so fair enough but we'll let alex make the rest of his moves here uh with his uruk high at uh, orcs sorry all right movements complete you can see the orcs have surged ahead some excellent advanced rolls being made remember it's plus one to your regular movement and advanced, and advanced. so it really helping these out foot-based army evil sons seems to be the way to go here so uh moving beyond the halfway point of the table here. This is the gap now between these two forces. So Alex closing the range quickly here with these. You can see the tank buster have swung around. Uh, Squig's just grazing nearby. And uh, then uh, here the jets move forwards as well. All the characters keeping up. There's nothing being held back here at this point. These objectives uh, just being ignored for now. We, we don't know which one it's going to be uh, until later on in the game. So Alex just focusing on advancing up the table as quick as possible. Morknaught moving ahead as well. And then we've seen this one moving ahead already. So that's movement done. There is a psychic phase here for the orcs, so we'll see if uh, there's going to be any powers manifested this turn. All right, psychic phase complete. No powers being manifested here. Uh, Alex cautious with his psychers. With the amount of orc boys that are around with the war energy, it's plus three. So a uh, danger of perils of the warp could go off so it's not worth risking at this stage uh, he's not going to use to jump or smites out of range anyway so we'll leave it at that and go on to shooting phase there will be some firepower here from the orcs okay so we're going to kick off uh shooting here with the De decker jet uh, alex was lining up shots here against the rubik marines but it's uh, three plus save in cover two up save uh, then minus one on the AP and then plus one again for all his dust. So keep him on a two up save. He's going to go for the Zangor unit on the end here instead. 18 shots, sixes will generate extra uh, shots. So you're on fours to hit as well. Yeah. So it's impressive enough and there'll be some extra shots here coming through. Four extras. It's not bad. It's decent against infantry because you want threes to win most infantry types, if not twos. Four extra shots? Yeah. That's uh, pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> Top this four. Uh, so we threes to wound these Zangles here. But it's a good firepower support coming through. That's a load of wounds as well. Yeah, it's eight wounds in total. Very impressive. Uh, we've blocked two. There's six casualties here. You know, Zangles has been uh, hit heavily by some serious Decker coming through here from the Decker jet. All right, so Morkonaut's going to fire here. Uh, custom Zapper. Is going to go into the Morlefine, the one that's closest here, and then uh, the big shooters into the Zangors. Heavy 3d3. Oh. <laughs> Nine shots. This is good here. Fives for hits. And again, sixes will generate extra shots here. So, walk firepower, uh, as I well know, is not to be underestimated here. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's going to be two extra shots coming through here and four hits. So there's the one to mortal wounds, so two extra shots. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. So two is after. Okay. So it's uh, six shots, six hits. Right, but you can absorb your mortal wounds because of your, your big mech nearby. He can um, repair them on a on the next turn. Yes. Yeah, no, it's a good combo going on here. Okay, so you're looking for... Strength, eight, toughness. Seven. So threes. We'll mix that one five, yeah, brilliant. The AP is going to be good on this. Minus three D6. Yeah, I'm going to maul the fiends in serious trouble here. Uh, five plus invon saves here to try and block some. We've blocked two. It's attempting to go for a command reroll here because otherwise it's going to be three D6 damage. Yeah, we'll use a command reroll. Try and get a five or six to try and keep this maul fiend alive. No. So three D6 damage. Okay, Morlefiend is still alive, but it's taken serious damage. Tempting, yeah, I can 
read your mind here to go for a come on reroll. Okay, you're all well enough. I think you might have this vehicle here. Nope. It's a one. Okay, add, I'm going to roll a five plus for Helm of the Third Eye for a stratagem. Yes, all right. So we uh, will bring back a command point here uh, with that relic. So total damage is eight, though impressive enough. Uh, Morphine has taken some serious damage here. Uh, yeah, mortal wounds. There are three uh, ones there, but it's only going to be the way the wording there in the rule book. It's just going to, or the codex, is just going to be one mortal wound course down to seventeen, and it can easily be dealt with there uh, by the big mechs, no problem at all. Okay, so there's uh, big shooters to fire into the zangors next. Two twin shooters. <laughs> it's a good dice roll in here. Not bad, is it? So fives and sixes required, and three extra shots here. Okay, those have missed, but Orc Dacker is impressive enough here. Zangor screen being whittled down. Threes for wounds, the great thing about the big shooter. Four saves of five plus. Save one, but three of these blue chickens brought down here. Okay, so we'll remove those from play. Rubik range, yeah, great. Okay, so this is uh, in range here uh, with the tank busters. Big shooter into the Zangors from the truck. And then it's going to be it's ten shots in it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, ten uh, rockets firing through here. Need fives. There's a cock dice just in there. Yeah, it's fine. It's a six. Okay, so it looks like four hits with three bonus shots here. No re rolls because it's not a vehicle target. Another two hits though. This is going like a dream here at this point. Here, looks doing well. Twos for wounds. Strength eight. Yeah. Yeah. All wounded. wounded, very good indeed. Uh, so it's six saves, eight minus three, and uh, we yes. don't get all his dust. Minus two. minus two, sorry, I should know that. And then uh, plus one for the cover here. So uh, four up saves. No, we've passed two. Three have got through, is nothing we can do about that. Three of the Rubik Marines brought down. Yeah, no, uh, two saves passed, four failed, so four models removed from play. This is uh, good here. The screen's been stripped away here from the Thousand Suns. But the way the army's designed, it's the nasty sorcerers behind that can potentially do the damage. But the orcs are pressed on here. Any other firepower? This truck to go. The yes, the truck. Sorry, yes. So uh, three. Uh, one hit. And a three to win. This is against the Zangors here. No. Okay. So we're looking around. Orc boys will be out of range. Some of them carrying big shooters though. So I think there's some more firepower to come. Okay, uh, line of sight, bit of a nightmare here, uh, to be honest, <laughs> through all these ruins. I reckon uh, lining up two of these big shooters can see uh, through to the Zangors, so uh, Alex is going to fire these here. Both the hands hit on fives, because they advance, but they've got Evil Sun's clan called. Shot. Sure. Uh, one hit. Just the one, okay. And then threes to win. Okay, five up. No, all right, so Zangor brought down. And that's from the central squ squad or the end again? Uh, the end squad. End squad, okay. So seven casualties on them. Morale's going to be an issue for those. They're a cheap unit, but it's sad to see them go so early. And it may rattle the thousand suns here to some degree to see this screen being removed so quickly. Any other firepower across the board? This big shooter into these angles? Yes. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay. I think, I think that's about it. Okay. So there'll be no charges here. And that'll mark the end of turn one. Right, but uh, a pretty good turn one. A good advance here from the Orcs, uh, gaining ground quickly, moving to the centre of the table, which is a strong position to be in. Thousand Suns suffering casualties here. We'll do some morale here. May lose some more models uh, with some uh, morale rolls. We'll see what we roll up. All right, so uh, morale resolved here. Lost of Rubik Marine. was going to be two, but come on, re-rolled. Uh, rolled a five instead of a six. Sangles melted away here entirely. They're gone. We lost another one from the end squad. So uh, devastating here. It, to some degree for the Thousand Suns, the Zangors are meant to be a, a damage-absorbing screen. Uh, we have lost half of the Rubik Marines, though, uh, so not so good news there uh, for that expensive squad. We'll go now on to turn one for the Thousand Suns. need to respond here and try and cause as much trouble and disruption for this Orc advance as possible. We'll go on to turn one now for the Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines. All right, move and complete here for the Thousand Suns on turn one. A uh, little group's going to hang around here. We're not going to move the Rubik range just to get the extra shots for the bolters. At Aaron's in amongst the Zangor unit here. 
uh, so too is chicken wing and there's been a bit of a divide here uh, the portion larger portion of the army is headed off in this direction so uh, demon prince has moved across just these three psychers together uh, so i could potentially play carbalistic focus just to help their psychic powers go off uh, zangor's advanced to move through to the ruins here uh, this one's advanced so too has the damage morphine it's had a wound restored with infernal regeneration back up to five this one's gone 12 the possibility of uh, warp time on this one and a possible charge but we'll see uh, if the power goes off uh, and the charge can actually take place that is uh, movement done we're going to psychic phase now here for the thousand suns needs to be good to try and uh, soften up this orc advance as much as possible so uh, demon prince first of all we'll start with him regular smite uh it's closest visible enemy i don't think you can see th this one we'll just check uh, he might have a view this claw here perhaps he might even be closer. We'll double check, but it's going to be one of the Orc Boys units. I'll try and manifest Smite against them, first of all. So, needing a five. And we start off with a tremendous four. So, yeah, well, come on, Rira. I want these Smites to go off here. So, two just about manages to get that power to go off. So, it'll be D3 Mortal Wounds against that Boys unit. It is three. There is the Pain Boy just nearby. So, Alex can roll. Six is here, just roll one. Okay, so two old boys slain. Okay, uh, so that's gone off. Uh, gaze of fate now. And that one does. All right, so that will give me a, a re-roll here, uh, potentially this turn. All right, so we'll go for uh, Disco Inferno next, and uh, his psychic power is going to play two stratagems here, Carbalistic Focus. Uh, we'll use that when we come to... Warp time to get plus two to the result to try and make that go off. I'm also going to play the Great Sorcerer as well because uh, I wanted to manifest uh, warp time, diabolic strength, and also to smite this turn as well. So uh, two command points being spent. The Thousand Suns have five uh, left in play here. So uh, we'll try and manifest uh, diabolic strength first of all which does go off on a 10. Uh, there's no weird boys in range to try and block that, so that card can be placed on the Mauler Fiend that moved 12. Uh, we can then try and uh, let this Mauler Fiend move. That is a Perils. We'll now use our Gaze of Fate, <laughs> thankfully, to re-roll this dice and not get a 1. We have rolled a 1. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's just going to be D3 Mortal Wounds on myself here. Which I roll a one. Okay, I'm thankful to roll a one this time. So one mortal wound taken on Disco Inferno. But tragically here, Mauler Fiend not uh, able to move ahead 12 inches. There'll be no charge from that unit this turn. We'll go for Smite now. And in five, oh, just about goes off. It's unmodified here for Thousand Suns. So D3 mortal wounds. And it's a six. Okay, so three mortal wounds. And the closest visible... I don't think Disco is going to see through to him. We'll double check here, but again, it's going to be one of these Orc Boys units. All right, so not in range of the Pain Boy, so three casualties taken. All right, so Beaker's over there. He's going to play Temporal Manipulation, first of all, to try and restore some wounds on the Mall of Fiend. That goes off, and we will add two more wounds back onto the Mall of Fiend, pushing it up to uh, seven on that one there, just to try and increase its wounds. And then we'll go for Smite here. Uh, it goes off on a Peril. <laughs> So it's going to be uh, D3 mortal wounds on myself. Okay, now it is a 2, both in agreement now, so that's fine. Uh, D6 here, mortal wounds. 3 on uh, the squad that can be seen, which is going to be this squad here, uh, out of range of the uh, pain boy. So 3 casualties taken, at 6 in total on them. Not too bad, damage is coming through against these orc boys, but there's plenty of them left here. The green tide is still strong at this stage. Uh, on the off chance it might work, we'll go for Do Doom Bolt with him uh, against this squad, it's even an 8. Got a 10, interesting, so this is going to be D3 Mortal Wounds. Just the one Mortal Wound comes through against this squad, again they're out of range of the uh, Pain Boy, so one casualty taken, but Doom Bolt's going to slow their movement down. It's very rare that one goes off, uh, a 9 for that, or a 10, uh, so that's gone through. Halve, halving the movement. And no advance roll allowed. So it's really going to slow those down to try and keep them back. Won't expect that result, but it's come through uh, from the aspiring sorcerer. Uh, so we've got two left. We've got Chicken Wing still to go and Araman himself as well. So we'll go for Chicken Wing here. We'll pick the Rubik Marines. Try and play Clamor of Zinch here. 
yeah, eight needing a seven, it goes off. So we minus one to hit them. So it'll be sixes then needed to try and hit those. Just trying to keep those Rubik Marines alive as much as possible. Believe Weaver of Fates and go for Smite instead, dead ahead, which goes off on a ten. And D3 mortal wounds. It's two more mortal wounds here on the Doom Bolted squad. Okay, it's not bad. We'll go for Smite here with Araman here, needing a four, because he gets plus one. That's an 11, so he's avoided the perils and caused d6 mortal wounds. Uh, so d6, it's a 4. 4 more casualties come through against uh, this squad here. Okay, we're going to try and put some wounds on this truck with Infernal Gaze, first of all. With Araman, goes off. 3 dice, need 4s. 2. Okay, it's 2 mortal wounds on the truck. And we'll go for Zinch's Firestorm as well, needing a 6 with Araman. Goes off on a seven, uh, so it's going to be nine dice, needing sixes here uh, to cause more mortal wounds. So any sixes will be good, just the one from that once, another mortal wound taken. All right, and I think that's Psychic Phase complete. Just looking around, yeah, all the Psychers uh, manifested here. We've got to Shooting Phase, a little bit of firepower here. Uh, it's not really the main strength here for the thousand sons the psychic phase has been pretty good actually a lot of boys being frazzled here uh, but we'll go on shooting phase now for the thousand sons on turn one All right yeah shooting phase resolved here uh, getting double shots here with the bolter discipline rule applies to heretic astartes uh, marines here sorry for cannon as well it's it did well here causing more casualties 13 casualties in total on this doom bolted orc boy squads so they've been hammered hard uh, some good casualties coming through. But that's the softer screen units here for the Orcs, so uh, Alex absorbing the damage on them. Uh, but still, not too bad there for the Thousand Suns. There'll be no charges this turn. We're planning to try and put one of the Mortal Fiends into combat, but it's not happened. And so we'll end the turn here for the Thousand Suns and go on to turn two for the Orcs. I reckon contact's going to be made now at turn two. Uh, we'll let Alex make his moves. All right, so uh, we're on turn two here for the Orcs. Alex just measuring up here and getting ready to move. Just for morale here has been resolved. There was no morale. 13 casualties here, but using the leadership of 28 from this squad. Uh, so no problem at all. So we'll watch the Orcs here. Really, this squad's out of action really with Doom Bolt. It's going to be these two large uh, squads here for the boys and the tank busters as well, uh, fully mechanised. They can move quickly around the board as well. Thousand Suns need to... Try and survive here as much as they can uh, this turn. If heavy casualties come in, the Orcs will start to dominate the table. So don't determine which objectives are going to be uh, available yet. That'll be at the start of turn three. So both armies really can just focus on trying to kill each other as much as possible at this stage. All right, so movement complete here for the Orcs on turn two. Daka Jets screaming along here, ready to lay down some more firepower. Uh, the Orc boys have surged ahead. This unit has been held back here, uh, only going a few inches ahead. Uh, what's three? Three inches. Three inches moved by them. Uh, some movement of six for their clan, halved and not allowed to advance. So uh, they've been held back, moved up here with the tank busters. So how these squigs got up here on top of there. Uh, the Orc boys moving ahead, going up and over the barricade here. Uh, they, are, they are in range of the war boss. They will be able to charge. Uh, I think Alex's intention is to jump the war boss anyway to try and get him into a better position. Gorkonauts move through nine. Uh, with, again with Evil Sons there, uh, moving up here with these. Orc boys pushing through. Uh, Wabana advancing behind them. Big Mech moving up as well, and so movement complete. But it's shifting, the game's shifting over to the left-hand flank here for the Orcs. This is where uh, contact potentially could be made at this point. There's an objective system right in between the two forces. That's movement done. We've gone to Psychic Phase now. There's definitely some powers uh, to attempt to manifest here uh, for the Orcs. Okay, so uh, Psychic Phase here. Uh, both the Weird Boys available to manifest powers. So the first power will be... I'm going to cast Smite. Into the Mortal Fiend. Mortal Fiend, okay. So here it comes. It goes up to seven. seven. Plus four for the Orcs around, so it goes to an 11. Oh, wow. So that's good for Smite. You're, and you don't peril. That's the perfect result. <laughs> very, very, very good. Okay. We'll try and deny that then. So it's a seven to try and beat. Uh, Araman's in range to try and block here. He scored a seven. Plus one for being Araman becomes an eight. So that power has been denied here 
Yeah, no, okay, so we've, we've uh, it's plus three. It's the maximum you can go to is plus three. So the smite has gone off on a 10, which means it won't be D6 damage. That's our attempt to block, uh, which is not going to be enough to stop it. And I'm going to leave it because I may well need a Khmer roll for another power that goes off. So uh, it's going to be D3 here against the Mauler Fiend. And it is just the one. Okay, so we drop down to six wounds again on the Mauler Fiend. It is half destroyed. Okay, so Warpath uh, here. Next, so goes off on. No, it doesn't. Two plus three is six. Need a seven. Need a seven, doesn't go off. I'll leave that. Okay. So I was trying to cast uh, to get an extra attack, one of the Orc Boys squads. And I'll cast the jump from the this jump. Big boy. Okay. The yeah, this is the one we want to try and stop here. Again, Araman is in range, so be on plus one. So it's four has been rolled. Plus, not much here. We'll see what the final score is. Okay, it's on plus two, so it's a total of six. The power doesn't go off, so it's going to come on reroll this one. Okay, four, that's better. So on six, seven, eight, the power has gone off. Uh, so now I'm going to try and use Helm of the Third Eye before I forget. Five plus, nope, it's a fresh battle round. Uh, and then we'll go for a denial here with Araman. I've rolled a two twos, even if I command re-roll. Yeah, I, w I could if I rolled a six, but it's highly unlikely. Just thinking how significant this is to try and stop that war boss. <laughs> I still think that squad's going to try and... I still think that squad's going to charge anyway. They're very... Uh, no, 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 they can't charge because they advance. They, it does need that war boss to be there. So this squad, this squad can. They this can. Can't. Yeah, on the off chance then, it's extreme, one in six chance, roll dice and try and get a, a six here. It's another two. All right, so you can now move the war boss here and that power has been manifested. Okay, so uh, one more power left to go on the web boy. Can do smite again on the Rubik Marines. Yeah, Nina's six, yeah, plus two. It's uh, 10. Plus two is a... 12. It's a, peril, <laughs> it's a peril. I'll try and deny of Araman. He needs a double six. No. Because Araman can deny up to three. So D3 what wounds himself? It's two. Okay. D6 on the Rubik Marines. Four. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost wiping them out. Yeah, that's painful. That Those Rubik Marines are an expensive unit and they've been obliterated here. There's only the exalted or the uh, aspiring sorcerer left alive from that squad. Uh, an excellent smite coming through there from uh, the weird boy. Okay, so uh, psychic phase complete. Pretty good here for the orcs. Not too bad at all. We'll go on to shooting phase for them next. All right, starting over the far side, you can see the tank busters there inside the truck. More Dakas being played. In fact, I roll now for Helm of the Third Eye. No, we don't harvest a command point for that. Uh, so... Right, two squigs are going to go into the, the far all of Fiend on four wounds, and the other one in the middle that's on four wounds uh, is going to be hit by all ten of the tank busters with their rockets. So, uh, Mordaka, five pluses will automatically generate extra shots coming through. Two squigs left, hit on twos. <laughs> Double one. <laughs> okay. I think you get to re roll because of the vehicle. Yeah, it's a vehicle. No, you can. No, absolutely, definitely can. Yep. So. Six and five, okay, so that's one hit plus a bonus, which hits as well. Okay, so two hits have come through. Be threes to wound. Oh no. Just the one. No, sorry, it's three hits come through, yeah, because you're on twos to hit there. And then one wound on the three plus. AP minus two, uh, we'll take a five plus in one save or five plus save. Yeah, we pass. Okay, so that Mall of Fiends escaped unharmed. And now the Wall of Fiend in the middle may not fare so well. There'll be ten shots coming through here. Needing fives and sixes. With the reroll? Oh, yes. This is their forte against vehicles, but not so good. Just three hits coming through. But those fives do generate extra shots. So, another three to come. All the thing could survive here. And it's rerollable, yep. Okay. Five hits, that's good. And then threes to wound. Okay. It'll be enough to destroy the Mauler Fiend unless I pass some invun saves here. Four invun saves to make. We pass just one. Uh, oh, it's forcing command rerolls here. I'd like to try and keep that one in, some, uh, in better condition. <laughs> it's 
There's still, there's still a blasted Gorkonaut <laughs> or Morkonaut to shoot with here. Uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go for it here. Five plus. Yes. Oh, it's gone off. All right. So six wounds can be taken on the central Maul of Fiend. Uh, two of the uh, three damage rockets getting through. All right, so uh, the Morkonaut's going to fire the uh, truck, fired there, three shots against the Zangles, and missed. So uh, Morkonaut's going to shoot uh, the Zapper gun into the end, uh, Morlefin, the one at the, yeah, the far side, and then all the twin uh, big shooters into the Zangles. You can see them, it's tall enough, so it's going to fire at them. Do you have rockets on top? Uh, yeah, I could tell the rockets into this guy as well. Okay. And the chess. Chest yep. So yes, it's range 24. Yeah, okay. Custom make a second first. Maybe 3d3. Six shots. Hitting on the fives. One mortar wound. Yep. And you get two dagger decks. Another hit, so it's four hits. Two ones, but it's just going to be one mortar wound. Just the one wound. Just the one wound comes through. Interesting. Five plus in one save. If ever we need to roll it, it's now. No. Damage. It's D6. D6. That's a four. Okay, so uh, four damage. So down to eight uh, with the Mortal Fiend at the far side. Uh, misses. Okay, that's the custom Mega Blaster firing. Two, uh, two rocket shots. Yeah. Uh, both miss. Okay, they've missed as well. Okay. So uh, they're just all that remains now is some twin big shooter shots going into the Zangors. May well be able to wipe them out. There's six of them left in that squad. So fives and sixes. Okay, there's four, and there'll be four extra or well, five hits here. F four extra shots. A couple more hits as well. Three's to wound. The Zangors will have to take some invuns saves here. Four, five, five pluses. Save two, three casualties taken. So, uh, big shooters from uh, these guys. This squad here, yep. Into the Zangles. Going to the Zangles just here. Okay. Um, Five and sixes. It's all good here. I'm a big fan of the big shooter. It's that strength five is useful. You have threes to win most infantry types. Nice and loads of extra attacks here coming from threes to wound. Another three. Yeah, Zangle's being picked on here. Past two in one save, so one casualty taken. Big shooter from this squad. Uh, it's going to fight the uh, Aspiring Sorcerer here. The last model left from the Rubik Marines. One hit. One hit. And they won't on a two. Okay. Okay, so uh, Super Shooter's now from the, the Dakajet. It's going to go into the Zangle's. Hunting them down here and amongst the ruins. Hitting on fours, this guy. Yeah. Fours to hit. There's a heap of sixes in there. Looks like about seven sixes. Okay, Alex just rolling up his extra shots here. Loads and loads of hits. Threes to wound. Zangle's in trouble here. It's a full squad. or oh, squad of nine at the moment. But I think they're going to take a, a nasty hit here. Yeah, there's a load of in one saves to make. All right, so nine in one saves to make. We've passed two, but it's going to be seven casualties taken on that squad, just going to be two of them left. Alright, so Zangle's brought down here, just two of them left. It's enough of a screen protecting these sorcerers, but the screen's virtually been stripped away here. Uh, Zangle's in serious trouble, no doubt they'll melt away from morale as well. So, uh, I think the screen's worked though, it's kept the tank busters, it's preventing them from firing through against the sorcerers. So, target for them? Ten tank busters against the aspiring sorcerer. It's against the aspiring sorcerer, okay. Hit on the so straight fives, no re-rolls here, but a couple of extra shots will come through. Uh, nope. No extra hits, okay. It's going to be twos to wound. We won't get all this dust here. There's five hits have come through here. Uh, so twos, yeah, it's all of them, okay. Uh, minus twos, so take a four up to save. No, he's gone. Okay, sparring sorcerer removed. From playing that unit's gone, that morale can come off as well, and that's their fire pack. But there's a big shooter on top here as well. Yeah, Into the Zangles, try and cl uh, clear away the screen entirely. One hit could be enough. See if Alex can do it. Yes, he's got the wound. Five plus in one save. No, 
gone. Screen removed. Question is, do you have any other firepower now that can see through to these characters? Great job here from the Orcs. Firepower stripping away uh, this entire line here. Three units of ten Zangors almost gone. There's a few left across the other side. Uh, and ten Rubik Marines uh, vaporised as well. So excellent play here from the Orcs. Okay, yeah, about to go into the charge phase now. As custom shooters did cause one wound against the Mauler Fiend, uh, but save on a six. So, uh, shooting done. Orcs, I think, can be are happy enough. Uh, the shooting's been impressive uh, with them uh, both turns so far. We'll go on to charges and overwatch. It's not really going to be much overwatch here at all. We'll go on to charges, see what Orc units are able to make contact. All right, so uh, charges taking place. Orc boys going in here, uh, making contact with these two Mauler Fiends. Dim Prince, an excellent dice roll here. The charge went ahead. Made contact with Dim Prince there. You can see the Orc Knob. Uh, Captain Deathbeard. Deathbeard, that's right, has made it in. Uh, I've then heroically intervened with these two uh, Psychers, uh, Beaker, and Disco Inferno. They'll be able to fight and not be attacked back. So I've put them into the fight. Uh, so Alex is going to pick a unit to uh, fight with here. This squad or this larger squad the here? Larger the squad. larger squad's going to go first. Okay, there is the danger the Thousand Sons could try and interrupt play. I'm not sure how much difference it would make you know, if we bring down a front rank of boys. The ones at the, <laughs> the, ones at the back will take their place, but uh, we'll let Alex make his attacks. All right, so uh, attacks about to be made here with the Orc boys. So total of 20, 23 attacks from here. Splitting them up, 23 regular attacks going to go into the Demon Prince, and then four... Uh, attacks from the knob as well of his power claw. So, the imprints has eight wounds here. Hitting on twos because they're within the six of the war banner. Yes, the banner's just nearby. Useful for so twos for hits. And then it's going to be fives be for wounds. Okay, so some have not made it through, but the wire banner definitely helping out. Fives and sixes. Uh, it's a good roll. It's going to force saves here from the imprints. Three up save he can make. Seven. Seven. Going to take a couple of wounds here, I think. Oh, yeah. No, we have taken four wounds. The imprints is half slain here. Okay. See if the captain can finish him off. He's lost one leg, but he wants to keep the other. Here we go. Four attacks needing threes with the power claw. Yeah, oh. Pretty good. Tempted to go for a reroll. No. Let's let it go. Maybe on a on a wound here, perhaps. So threes to wound. Strength to ten, yeah. Threes to wound. Yes. Oh, they were wounded. This is really good. We'll take our invon save here. Three plus. Done. Now there's trouble. Two d three. I'm gonna have to command reroll this one. Must reroll it. Dive past. D three damage. So Just the one. one. Gonna command reroll that one. Becomes a three, well done. And then we're going to try and steal there with Helm of the Third Eye. No, Steam Prince taken seven wounds in total. Uh, one wound remains. Okay, so here come the attacks. Uh, so it's Orc Boys. Gonna have to do them in two lots, we're doing them in here. Yes. Okay, against the Mauler Fiends, six wounds remain on this vehicle. So it's one drop dice, just be rolled. Against two just to hit, so you can take away all the ones, which is a few. And then. Uh, there's one more there. Yeah. That's it. Fives and sixes for wounds. At this rate, the Mauler Fiend should be brought down here. Just the volume of dice. Fives and sixes, yeah, pretty good. Six saves so far. Three plus is required. Yeah, half slain here. This is a good result uh, for the Orcs. So three wounds left now on this one. So I'd, I'd like to try and stay alive. Three wounds to try and get through. So here they come. It's the other half. Twos. I think it's the twos to hits tipped it for you. That really has helped out. Just that few more extra hits coming through each time. There's one over there as well. Fives and sixes. Oh, it's a good enough roll. Well, yeah. No, three. Just three. Okay, all of a sudden. I'll roll this one at a time just for agony. Oh, I've passed. Okay. Fouled that one. Past that one. Okay, one more wound taken. Down to two. The Mortal Fiend does survive for now. Uh, but Alex does have this unit here to try and finish them off. Hmm. We could try and interrupt play. Got three command points left. 
expensive to do it. Okay, I was contemplating interrupting play, but it's, it's two command points that I was going to play at Demon Forge as well, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try and risk keeping these three Mortal Fiends alive. So Alex is going to put some regular attacks into this Mortal Fiend. It's got two wounds left. Six orcs attacking on twos. Yep. Yeah, it's just going to be tight here. We've just got to hope we pass some three plus saves. Fives to wound. There's going to be some saves to make for sure. Oh, it's a good few. It's four. So there's a fair chance I could could survive, but there's every chance I can roll badly here. I'll roll these one at a time. I pass that one. Just need to pass this one. No, have to pass this one, and we must pass this last dice roll. Oh, it's a five. We passed <laughs> one wound left. God, dear, tight. We're running it tight here with these smaller things. All right, so attacks. There's a power claw buried inside here. Piling move has been made. Two more orcs have been able to swing around through the trees here. So Alex will make his attacks. Just clear my dice out of the way. Okay, that was the gamble, trying to keep that damaged smaller fiend alive. Uh, so we'll have a, a number of units to fight back here with the Thousand Sons. But uh, here come the attacks. This is regular orc boys. Six wounds to try and get through on this other smaller fiend. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is the crucial roll here. Fives. Three. Triple one. Down to three. Horrific. Now it's opened the way for the power claw to finish off at uh, this model here. On threes. Two. Just gonna let it go. Threes. Oh, he's got it well done. At minus three, isn't it, for Power Claw? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we'll take a five plus in one save, uh, which I need to pass at least one of these. Five up. No, and no. 2d3 damage, you've done it. Could get a double one. Oh. Oh, four, well done. Roll to see if we explode. We'd rather not, because otherwise we'll lose the other Mauler Fiend. Nice <laughs> to see, okay. But this one's gone. I think Alex will be happy at least to see one of these Mauler Fiends uh, removed from play. So good result there for the Orcs. So Alex just making a little bit of adjustment here of consolidation. That'll be the end of those two units attacking. Now the Thousand Sons can attempt to strike back here. Okay, so we'll start with the Mall of Phoenix just on one wing left. Lash of Tendrils here attacking, needing fours. Uh, Rerolling ones because of the uh, Exalted Sorcerer nearby. It's generated an extra hit here. Strength six. Uh, quadruple one. Uh, one win comes through, minus two, two damage, so... This squad or this Yeah, this the top squad. Yeah, this one. that one, yeah. So is the, where's the pain, oh, the pain boy's down here. Okay, he's down there. So one model removed, and then the Mortal Fiend fists. One hit comes through, and it is a wound. That's a straight three damage, minus three. That's another boy gone. Not many boys being slain here. Okay, so two exalted sorcerers here are, are all in together. Uh, they're going to go into this, it's the same larger unit. Uh, they're going to fight against it. Yeah, they can't contact the other one. So, uh, eight attacks. Then two, so we're rolling ones. They've all hit. Wish we were playing against the Imperium. We've got some <laughs> extra attacks here. Uh, threes to wound. Yeah, AP minus one. D3 damage, which doesn't matter, but it's six Orc boys hacked down here. Not too bad. Okay, so that's Disco Inferno fighting and Beaker. Uh, Demon Prince next. Twos, they've all hit. Threes to wound. Yeah, five have come through. So five more. It's AP minus two, two damage. Five more boys slain uh, from that squad. So Thousand Sons uh, doing the best that they can to remove as many models as possible. Still pass. pass. Yeah. Okay. Morale's not going to be an issue. Hit eleven casualties on this, and twelve or two. Sorry, on the other squad. All right. So we'll end the turn here. I don't think there's anything else we can do. All of our units have attacked. All right. So we will go on to uh, the second turn here for the Thousand Sons. Just a bit of uh, morale to resolve first. All right. So uh, turn finished here. Thousand Sons fighting back as best as they can, but the Orcs have the upper hand at the moment. Casualties coming in for the Orcs, but it's just Orc boys being slain here. Thousand Sons at the moment not able to get through to these other units. Looking good for the Orcs. The game's not over yet. We'll go on to the second turn for the Thousand Sons. We'll see if the Terminators decide to arrive this turn uh, to try and make an impact here in this fight. But this horde army here for the Orcs is prevailing in the ruins here at the moment against the Thousand Sons Chaos Space Marines. Turn two coming up next to what Aram can do.
All right, turn two here for the Thousand Sons. A desperate fighting at the moment. Uh, taking heavy casualties. Zangor's gone. Except one, we busted morale, uh, but one of them's remained, the twist bows remained alive. Uh, Rubik Marines gone, the screen's removed from play here. But still, this Thousand Suns army uh, is not out of the fight yet. As long as the Sorcerers and Psychers remain alive, uh, they can still cause trouble. Remember those two units of Terminators as well potentially could turn up uh, anywhere on the table. We're going to move them now, see what the Thousand Suns decide to do. Okay, uh, turn two here for the Thousand Suns. So much has happened in this game already, it feels like the... The middle stage of the game, but it's only the second turn here uh, for this Thousand Suns Force. So we've reacted and stretched the game across to the other side of the table. Uh, so the uh, Terminators have turned up one, two units of five just here, just keeping just over nine inches away, uh, and also from the flyer. Aaron's gone away from the objective and is headed straight towards this jet. He can assault it here in close combat so that's the attacks that are taking place on this side of the table and then around here trying to contain the orcs on this flank this smaller fane's restored a wound back up to nine and moved through 12 inches this one's gone back up to two wounds now uh, with infernal regeneration we've remained in combat with all of these units here just hoping that we can clear the orcs away uh, the lone zangle twist sprays move through so is this one going to join into the combat and then chicken wings move through as well uh, to potentially assault as well so that's movement done i reckon we need to try and clear clear the boys away and the other aim is to try and destroy one of these tank buster units if we can we'll go on to psychic phase now uh, for the thousand suns here on turn two right it's the demon prince first of all gaze of fate this time i'm going to make that go off on a ugh, three um no there's no point using the command reroll to try and get a reroll again so we'll leave it uh, smite then into the combat doesn't go off it needs to go off but there's plenty of more psychic powers to try and manifest this turn um it's a three plus to make that one go off yeah we'll, we'll, we'll re-roll here yeah we've rolled a one <laughs> terrible we've had some terrible dice rolls this turn all right so no smite for the demon prince i don't know what he's up to oh no he's He's almost dead, that's why. Okay, so it's on one wound left. All right, so that's his psychic powers finished. Right, Beaker, uh, smite and temporal manipulation with him. So we'll try and repair the demon prince here. <laughs> He's periled. You've got to say this. <laughs> the worst dice, right? D3 mortal wounds on Beaker. He's taken one mortal wound. Okay, so another wound can go on him. That's the second time he's periled, isn't it? Yes. He's periled every turn. Smite. It can't get any worse than this. Smite goes off. D3 mortal wounds, it's three mortal wounds on that boy's squad, it's the larger squad. Three of them can be removed from play. Okay, we'll go for chicken wing. We'll try and put a four up in one save on the, the Mauler Fiend. That does go off. Okay, so four plus in one save, just to try and keep him alive. Uh, and then smite here on a five, just about goes off. Sure, yes, of course you can. Yeah, no, sure, here it comes. Should be able to. Yeah, well done, ten. All right, it's the weird boy blocking that smite from coming through. Disco's going to go for smite here. It doesn't go off. This is not going according to plan. Okay. Um, nothing we can do about that one. We'll think about the second power here. All right, so a uh, bit of a change of play here. I'm going to play Carbalistic Focus. There's still three Psychers together there. Uh, this is Disco Inferno. I'm going to try and play Warp Time and get the Demon Prince out of trouble. He's got one wing left. Can't afford to lose him. He's the Warlord. It's a decent enough model. Uh, I need to buy him a bit of time here. So uh, Warp Time. Goes off on a 6, plus 2 is 8. So if you can try and deny a few, out which... Okay, not out of range, okay. So I'm going to pull that Demon Prince out of trouble here. Don't want to lose the Warlord. It's tempting to keep him in combat, but I don't want to risk it here at this stage. All right, so yeah, pulled him back. Didn't need to go too far back, just enough to pull out of combat and try and keep him safe. His character, so he can hide away just at the back there. But a uh, bit of a disastrous psychic phase at the moment here for the Thousand Suns. So we'll switch over all the psychic powers resolved over here. Uh, we'll go for uh, low-grade smites then from these. So this one. It goes off on 11. That's an interesting result there because that'll be D3 on the truck. You try and block it on a 12. Here it comes. Uh, just one. So down to six. And then we'll go for low grade smite here. It doesn't go off on a four. Consistently failing rolls here. I can't do anything about that. But down to six now in total. Uh, Aramon will go for smite here on this one. So that goes off on a six, becomes a seven. Try and deny. Try and deny. Sure. Yeah, in range. No problem. 
Oh, good for you. He's rolled an 11 here. Well done. Two powers left here, Aaron. Okay. We're trying to crack this open here. Aaron's going to use Inch's Firestorm. I don't think that's going to go off. It's a seven required. That's a five in total, so that's not manifested. Infernal Gaze, this one must go off. It's a five. Five required. That goes off, and it's uh, three dice need fours. None. And <laughs> I was hoping to crack that open, the Psychic Phase, and then to let loose of all of the decker here. Okay, Psychic Phase complete. Uh, horrific here from the Thousand Suns. The wheels have fallen off uh, here at this stage. This game's not over yet, but uh, we were hoping for a, a much better result. We're going to Shooting Phase here. Some more Firepowers arrived. We'll see if that's more successful. All right, so uh, shooting's taken place. The Warp Flame Pistols picked off two wounds here on the Dacker Jet. In combat here, uh, two Warp Flame Pistols coming through from Disco and Beaker picked off another Warp Boy. Uh, and then across here, we're about to fire veterans along the wall. Going to play it onto this squad just here. Plus one to the wound rolls. That's all of my command points used up. And we're going to let loose of everything that we have to try and crack this open and let, let these try and hose down uh, the... Tank busters as they disembark. That's the master plan here. See if it works. Hellfry Misarek. Need threes. Two hits. Threes to twos to wounds. Sorry, because of veterans of the long war. Uh, AP minus two. That's a six ups. Six ups. Nope. nope. Two D three. Damage. It's five. Has come through in total. So but you have your ramshackle, ramshackle special rule. So on a six. Um, reduce the damage to uh, to one. So, uh, so the first one, the three damage. Six. Looking for a six here. Oh. He's just pulled out a six. <laughs> so I've got in. Next one. No. We have to set a limit to the sixes. You're allowed thirty sixes each in a game, and then that will cap it at that. Okay, so you have block one. So that's actually two, three wounds in total instead of five. So still three wounds to try and get for. I thought I had that there, but uh, the ramshackle, this uh, heap of junk here that's made up of orc. Tau and Gene Silicolt's <laughs> vehicle parts here. Okay, so uh, we'll go for the Soul Reaper Cannon. Threes to hit. Fours to wound. One gets through. It's AP minus three, so it's going to go straight through, and that's it. Okay, Alex reckons I'm going to do it here. Two wounds to try and pick up. Threes. I wish we had an Exalted Sorcerer nearby, but we don't, so we can't reroll the ones. There's a good number of fouled here. Right, we should be okay. These are veterans of the long war here. But, oh, gosh, it's tight. No, I've done it. Uh, no, I can't say we've done it yet because uh, you can make some saves of six plus. Oh, we've just about done it. Okay. Right, okay, good news. Uh, the transport's destroyed. There's going to be 12 dice rolls here. Any ones and models will be slain as they disembark. All right, so uh, two casualties taken as they disembarked. Uh, the model's been removed from play, and that's the uh, deployment of that unit all within three inches of the hull before the model was removed. So we'll go on to this squad here. This is the last of the firing here for the Thousand Suns. We'll get our volley here to see if we can bring down uh, what's the... I was going to say what's left. Still a, a tough enough squad here. Eight tank busters. It's decided to keep the squigs alive uh, here. So those two remain in play as well. All right, so we'll make a start here. Soul Reaper Cannon first in threes. Uh, threes to kill here. One. Okay, so one more can go. Okay, uh, so then we'll go 16 shots with some Daka here. Need threes. As I was afraid this would happen. A lot of misses have come through here. Force to wound. That's a good recovery though. It's uh, six uh, slain models actually. AP minus two. So now the squeaks go and it'll be four of the tank busters as well. Now that squad's in trouble. Okay. And then we'll go for uh, the Hellfry missile rack as well. Uh, gets one hit. Two's for a wound. AP minus two. Another uh, tank buster has gone. Okay. Uh, it's shooting uh, complete here for these. It's gone pretty well. Uh, transport's destroyed. Ten of the tank busters removed. And now there's a threat all of a sudden across the other side of the board uh, with these Terminators. They're slow moving, but they're, this flank now uh, is looking pretty healthy for the Thousand Suns, uh, despite all of the 
carnage that's taking place across the other side of the table. We're going to charges and Overwatch next. Uh, Thousand Suns have a, uh, a couple of Zangles to charge in. Uh, Chicken Wing wants to get involved as well, so we'll roll up some charges. Possible Overwatch as well. All right, charges taking place here. It's gone okay for the Thousand Suns. We've swung around here, didn't roll too far. We declared our charge against uh, the Big Mech, the Wire Banner, and also the War Boss. We reckon I'm not in base contact here. I can roll around with a pile and move and still be able to be within an inch of the War Boss to fight against him. That's the target, breaking through the wall here in this Lord of the Rings terrain. I'm going to try and reach the Orc War Boss if we can. Uh, continuing combat here. Both the Zangles charging in and... Uh, Chicken Wing rolled a seven, so he swung him around to join up with the other three exalted sorcerers. They're all linked up now, giving each other high fives here. The team, the fellowship is <laughs> together. Oh dear. And then uh, around this side, Araman's charged in against the flyer. Uh, here, charging in. Took a win, though, uh, with all of the Dakar coming through. Uh, not going to charge here. It's a 10 inch charge. We'll just let morale see if that's enough to take out the last of those tank busters. That's charges done. Still some hope here for the Thousand Suns. They're not out of this fight yet. We'll go on to combat resolution next. <laughs> all right, so we're going to put all the attacks onto the war boss here. Uh, four attacks with the fist. They've got to get these hits here if we can. That's pretty good. Uh, so. It's going to be... Your toughness is... Five. Toughness is five. It's going to be twos to wound here with the fists. I've got no command rerolls available here. So two have made it through. It's two at minus three. Five up. Oh, past one. Well done. Six. Uh, sorry, three wounds <laughs> taken on the war boss here. Lash of tendrils. I've got a feeling we're not going to do this. I need some kind of boost. Warp flame gargoyles would have been useful. Demon forge would have been good, but we don't have the command points here. We only two have got through. Two wounds do come through. Uh, AP minus two, so four up saves. No. Now there's a problem because the war boss will die here, and you, <laughs> you're gonna use. It's gonna use the command point. No. Oh no, he's gone. I was surprised by the result, but it's just enough. Four more wounds required, and those lash of tendrils at two damage each have just about managed to bring the warlord down. That's a very very close indeed. Uh, but that's a, a warlord kill and that nasty war boss taken away. He's got the killer claw. You know how bad he or nasty he can be here. Uh, so good result here with the Mauler Fiend. We'll let him sit where he is. We know that you can't interrupt play now because there's only one command point left. Actually, I'm going to try and harvest one of those with a 5 plus. For Helm of the Third Eye, it kicks in and we get a command point back. Shame could have done with that for a <laughs> stratagem for him. All right, so uh, one command point to use potentially here uh, for the Thousand Sons. All right, so uh, we'll use Zangles next. Uh, Twist Bray's charging in. I think they'd love to get some revenge here, all of their slain chicken brethren. So uh, this one charging in here, three attacks with Zangle Blades, rerolling ones for uh, Chicken Wing being nearby, still a miss, and fours to wound. One wound comes through, AP minus one. Which is enough, yeah, t-shirt, save. So, one old boy slain. Then we'll go for the other twist spray on the other squad charging in. Threes, they've all hit. Fours, two fours, two boys slain uh, from the other squad. Okay, that's actually the same squad. So, eight casualties in total now on them. Uh, there's Chicken Wing charging in. Four attacks for him. At twos, re-roaring ones. So, they've all hit. Threes to wound. Yeah, two more. Uh, it's AP minus one and D3 damage, so two more orc boys can be removed from that same unit. So ten casualties now on these orc boys. Okay, so just checking charges here. Yeah, Araman needs to fight next. So we'll fight with Araman next. Twos to hit. Rerolling ones. Yep. And fives to cause trouble here. Yes, two have made it through. It's AP minus one. So uh, Alex can make saves here, five plus, to try and block this. It'll be three damage if they make it through. Oh, it's block one. Well done. Three damage taken. So down to seven on the fly here. And then we'll fight with the disc itself, which hits. It's five for a wound. No, right, so that's Aaron finished. Yeah, one more wound here. Uh, Alex has pointed out his toughness six here on the fly, so he's got to make another save. Well done. He's rolled a five and passed that one. Okay. Yeah, because staff strength six, toughness six on the fly. All right. So now we alternate uh, units. The Thousand Suns need to pick one of the units to fight with next. 
Okay, so a choice then, a difficult choice whether to fight down here, because there's still a good number of boys to fight. Uh, but we're going to go with this one. Uh, you're going to use my spare command point and go for Demon Forge here to try and help out a smaller fiend. So, fours. Rerollable for Demon Forge. Twos to wound. It's rerollable. It's helping out here. Two alt boys slain. And then the Lasher Tendrils next. Uh, rerollable. Yeah, it's helped here. And then strength at four, so fours to wound. They're all wounded and four more boys slain. Yeah, it's useful, that card. I doubt it's going to be enough to keep them all a fiend alive, but just trying to take out as many boys as possible. Okay. Happy enough for that? It's just allocating attacks here. So three hits. The big shooter guy is going to try and take out the twist spray there. Uh, the captain... Deathbeard. Death two boys going to go into Chicken Wing and then the other two into Beaker. That's the distribution here. I'm trying to cause as much damage as possible because morale, morale may well be an issue for this squad of Orc boys. And there's two Exalted Sorcerers still to fight back. But um, here come the attacks and this is... Three big shooters? Yep. Ooh. Yeah, so they don't have the choppers, just two attacks each. Force to wound. Force to wound. Just the two. Two. Okay. Two in Vanessa is a five plus, which we found. Okay. Twist Bray's gone. So that's that model removed. Useful for later on. These are troops choices here for the Thousand Suns. So uh, that's an option gone. Uh, so now. Actually, these two boys. Boys, yep. Yeah. Sure. Six attacks. Threes. And fours. And mm, okay. Uh, boss knob on chicken wing. In fours now. Ooh. Twos for a wound. Yeah, the wound comes through. Uh, we do have a five plus in Vonda save. Which we pass on a five. <laughs> Good result. Okay, uh, and then. Just the last two on there. Yeah, six attacks. It's good dice for in here. And then fours to wound. This is on Beaker, who already has two wounds. Three up saves, pass. The armor holds on him as well. Good result here for the Thousand Sons. Uh, Orcs struggling to uh, get through the armor here of these exalted sorcerers. So, Disco Inferno here. Twos to hit, rerolling ones. Uh, threes to wound. Uh, two. And that's uh, minus one. So, two Orc boys slain with him. I fight with his disc as well, which hits. And wounds, and that's going to be a save of a six plus. Useful against orcs, just with a six up. Okay, it's another one gone. All right, so yeah, consolidation move made just there. Now Alex can attack down here with these. Uh, there's five, six left in the squad. So five regular orc boys will do those attacks first. Two wounds to try and pick off here. He should be able to. Plenty of hits. Even these chopper attacks might be enough. Five to wound. That's a really good roll. Five. Roll them all together. I think we're gonna. Yo, one win left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just being will not die at this stage. Power claw though, surely. One hit comes through. Twos, threes to wound. No. Um. Uh. Come on, reroll. Yeah. Oh, take your time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's the last one. The very last one. Yes. It does. We'll try and harvest that for the last time. No, oh, we can't, no, because we've already used it this turn. Um, it's only one per battle round. So, uh, five plus in one save required to keep the blasted Maul of Fiend alive. It's a two. No, it's gone. No command rerolls left. Doesn't detonate. All right, but Maul of Fiend gone. I think the Orcs will be happy to finally get this one removed from play. Yeah, Weaver of Fate is here. It still wouldn't have helped. Rolled a two, but so uh, we forgot about that and then saw it just as the, the model was removed. But it hasn't helped. Maul of Fiend destroyed here. Now a big hole opens up here. Not much, many models left for either side uh, yet, so you can make a consolidation move for this unit if you wish. So, good fight taking place here. Good scrap between these two sides for sure. Uh, we'll attack now with Beaker, the last model to fight here this turn. Twos. Rerolling ones out and then threes three more maybe minus one d3 damage so three more all oh, boys slain these exalted sorcerers they can stand up for themselves in combat and three more all oh, boys removed
Yeah, it's not over yet. We've got attacks to go here. There's the Wow Banner and also the Big Mac with a big chopper to fight as well. All right, so here come the attacks here. Start with the Nub with the War Banner. Three attacks hit on twos. And Strength seven with the Banner. So winning on fours. Fours. Uh, no One comes through. Two damage. Three up save. Passed with that one. Okay. Big Mac now with his uh, big chopper. So here comes the attacks of... Three attacks hit on twos. Yeah, uh, the web banner helping out. Yep. Seven on the big chopper. So fours. Nice, oh, superb. Yeah, there is one. a minus, yes, yeah, minus one. Four up save. Plus two. Two damage though, down to seven. That'll help next turn as we prepare to go on to the third turn here for the Thousand Suns. I think that's all the combat's taken place. Nothing else to resolve. Quite even as between these two sides. I'd say the Thousand Suns are ahead. Yes, to some degree, but the Orcs have a turn in hand now. We'll be switching over to them, and they could hurt the Thousand Suns here for sure. We'll go on to turn three, and after some morale's been resolved. We'll get some morale resolved here, see what happens, and then uh, we'll go on to the third turn. All right, so, yeah, morale resolved here. So, uh, orcs beginning to melt here. This squad that was fighting away is gone. And this squad here, no Kamami rolls left. Rolled a six, so five models slain. Just the knob remains alive. He has a name, doesn't he, this one? Uh, he's Stomp. Stomp, okay. So Stomp is the only orc that's left uh, from the attack across there. And then uh, rolled a one here. Brilliant result. But still, uh, because of the casualties, one model slain. Uh, not including the squeaks uh, for morale, but still one model slain. Uh, so, uh, boom chucker here, still alive. That is the turn finished. Definitely sensing the Thousand Suns are... Keep locking horns here with the Orcs and not going to let go of this game for now, at least. Uh, we did attacks here, by the way, with the plane. No hits against Araman. We've gone to the third turn. So what happens now uh, is it's Alex's turn. He's going to choose three of these objectives. And then we'll D3 randomise, and that'll be the one that becomes uh, his primary objective. All right, so we're on the third turn here. Uh, so Alex has chosen... You point those out for us, that one. This one, this one, and this that one. That one, okay, the game switched around, sort of a uh, Dawn of War sort of option here. So roll a d3. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fair enough, okay, here it comes. It's the middle objective, it's that one, right next to the Morkanot. Okay, now I think Alex is happy enough with that result. So the Orcs then will need to major around this area uh, with some defensive units for sure, which they have. Uh, they've got some units that are happy to sit on top of that objective, especially the Morkanot, tank busters as well. And then the Thousand Suns, when it comes to their turn, that objective is just in there. This objective here, which the Orcs uh, have some presence on, and, and then this one over here could be uh, the beta objective for the thousand but we'll have to wait and see until it's their turn we're going out on to movement now we'll see what alex decides to do now that he knows that is the objective to try and control for his orcs all right movement complete here advanced move made headed straight towards araman here's going to offload a possibility of killing him if he gets a, a hit with a rocket uh, on a six and then it generates another shot so possibly try and take Araman out there I think it's the last action potentially from him the flies screamed round in this direction just getting ready to lay down some firepower once again it's been pretty effective this game uh, the issue for the Thousand Suns is characters not receiving as much protection now because the screens have been removed uh, Alex will have a bit more freedom to shoot at whoever he wants to uh, falling back in this direction here with the boys uh, the pain boy has restored all the wounds back onto the weird boy. Weird boy uh, to here. These two moving across. Gorkonaut squaring up now uh, against the Mauler Fiend and back up to 18 is your full wounds. Full yeah, wounds. okay, so that can disappear. And he's been repaired uh, by uh, the Big Mech. And then across here, uh, advancing around here with the Tank Busters to let off some shots into the Thousand Suns Psychers. Oh yeah, and Stomps moved through a last ditch charge from him. Okay, so uh, movement's done. There's not much left on the table here for either side. We'll go on to Psychic Phase next here for the Orcs on turn three. All right, so uh, Psychic Phase here, Warpath uh, went off. We tried to block all of these powers with our Psychers uh, that are over here. Uh, Warpath did go off. One Smite was blocked. One Smite went through, uh, knocking the Maul of Fiend down to five, and then Warpath didn't Go. A warp off did go off, the other power's Fist of Gork. Yes, didn't okay. go off. Didn't go off, okay. Alright, so uh, that's Psychic Phase complete. Shooting Phase is next. 
All right, shooting phase here, just as the Thousand Suns thought they were ahead. Uh, there's been a deadly blow here to this army. Uh, it's firing through here at Tank Busters. Uh, it was just one wound came through against Baker. That's it. Five plus invon save was passed. Uh, pistol fight here against Imprints. No damage. Across here. Uh, we passed an invon save here with him, didn't we? Yeah. No damage come through, so still on five wounds. Uh, the Morkanaut firing, that was rockets and uh, the custom... Mega Blaster here, then uh, this one uh, firing through the larger guns, the custom custom Mega Zapper, custom Mega Zapper fired through here at no damage against the Terminators, and that was uh, the two twin big shooters firing through as well, still no damage uh, against them. Uh, but the good result came through here, uh, no damage. We passed uh, an Invon save here of 5 plus with his shot that hit, uh, but it was the Dacker from this Dacker jet coming through. Uh, five saves required, failing four of them already on a wound. Araman's gone. That's a lot of psychic ability there, lost here for the Thousand Suns. He's not the Warlord, but one of the key psychers, the best psychers, best psyker the Thousand Suns have in this list, is gone. I was going to use him uh, to uh, put mortal wounds all across this Orc High, but no, he's been removed from play. And that's a significant blow to this Chaos Space Marine force. Shooting phase done. It's I reckon the game's evens now at this stage. It's anyone's game here. A lot of casualties caused on both sides. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next. Right, yeah, charges have taken place. Attempted charge with the truck, uh, but failed to go in against the imprints. But he has been contacted by Stomp, uh, the orc knob just there with the power claw. And then across here, uh, as predicted, Gorkonaut going in against smaller things should be able to finish that off in close combat. We'll go on to combat resolution next. All right, so uh, extra attack for Warpath. Orc unit, yeah, they get it, that's fine. Uh, and it's the smaller attacks here, going to go in against the smaller fiend. You should be able to bring this down here with the Morkonaut. Uh, well, banner plus one to hit rolls as well, so twos. Oh, there's loads of attacks here. This should go through, no problem. Just going to take away the ones, just a couple. Okay, fine, those all made it through. This is still strength 8, it's going to be 3 to wound here. Smaller things long gone. Okay. 8. Saves required. Okay, did an amazing roll. No. That's um, loads of damage. 2 each. 2 each, right now gone. Okay, just hope that we blow up. We'd love to blow up. Close. Okay, more thing destroyed. Okay, yeah, so good result here. Uh, consolidation if you want to move three inches closer towards the enemy. Nearest enemy model actually would yeah, be that direction. I'll leave it there. Leave it there, okay. And across here. Chance to kill the Warlord here. This will really mess things up here for the Thousand Suns. Good chance. Are you doing fours? Two hits. Threes to wound. One. <laughs> I knew it would be one dice roll. Three plus in fun save. It's a four. He's passed. Oh, okay, <laughs> right. Dean Prince can fight back. Any other? Yeah. Nothing. That's it. Right, Dean Prince fighting back then. He's got one wound left, but it's not going to affect his attacks. Seven attacks. Needing twos to hit, I, I think. We'll check that in just a moment. Uh, so, it looks like seven out of seven hits. Yeah, they've all got made it through, no problem. Threes to wound. Yeah, no, that knob's gone. Uh, eight wounds. Ten wounds. <laughs> okay. All right, consolidation. I might make a consolidation move here, and that'll be the end of the turn here for the Orcs. Yeah, consolidation move made, and that marks the end of the turn here. So uh, that's the objective then to hold here for the Orcs. Anyone can hold it, but that's the one that's been designated here for the Orcs. So uh, we'll go on to the third turn now for the Thousand Suns. Uh, it's at the start of the turn here. We can roll it now. We'll D3 randomise which one it's going to be. One or two, it's this one. Three or four, it's the middle. Five or six, it's over the other side. There's a four. So that's the objective. The Thousand Suns, uh, that's the one that's been allocated to them. So the game is going to revolve around this area of the battlefield now. Uh, so both forces may well, what's left of the armies here, will converge on this area. Right, turn three for the Thousand Suns here. It's taking ages trying to figure out where to go. These four... Uh, sorcerers here, where to go, we have to go after the flyer, the central group, these characters here, 
uh, the more conaunch and difficult choices also uh, whether or not to go against the tank busters as well but the move's been made uh, moving up in this direction with the terminators they know where to go two objectives to go after here only going four inches slow from them uh, but really it's only turn three it's the middle stage of the game and not much left on the table for either side uh, Disco Inferno is headed straight towards the weird boy inside the ruin here uh, to use psychic powers shooting and then if that fails then combat potentially as well Dim Prince has got one wound left but he's headed off in this direction multiple options for a charge and the two exalted sorcerers here pushing through against uh, the tank busters that's movement done uh, we'll go on to uh, psychic phase next for the thousand suns here on turn three all right, Psychic Phase complete, uh, low grade smite didn't go off here, uh, it did across this way and picked off one of the old boys, uh, across here, uh, smites failing all over the place, just one mortal wound on uh, the truck, and then across here, one mortal wound from smite on the wire banner, across here, smite was successful, rolled a 10, so it's difficult to block, three mortal wounds on the weird boy, diabolic strength did go off, but on a perils, I caused two mortal wounds against myself, so Disco Inferno is now on two or three wounds in it's taken three it's taken three yeah so he's in serious trouble he needs to watch himself here uh, and then gaze of fate failed yeah and then the smite went off there against that uh, wow banner okay so psychic phase complete some shooting some we can see a few of these can see through to the boys so we'll go on to shooting phase next here for the thousand suns on turn three yeah shooting phase resolved pretty good here to, uh, to the uh, tank buster's gone, uh, some firepower coming from this unit, not all the models could see, but we did manage to pick up five wounds here against the boys squad, uh, some of them visible uh, to the firepower from these terminators, and then across here the warp flame pistol did take out the warp, uh, the weird boy, so one of them gone, shooting phase finished, no wounds across here, did get four hits, but no wounds coming through with warp flame pistol. Uh, from Beaker, so we'll go on to charges and overwatch next here, we'll see if the Thousand Suns plan uh, works. Alright, uh, charges have taken place here, it's gone well for the Thousand Suns, uh, jumping up over six inches, we've made contact with this weird boy and also the pain boy, uh, no damage on overwatch there, uh, took a wound on overwatch but passed a save uh, going in against these two characters and then you know, I know the Gorkonauts there but there's not too much we can do about it we're just going to try and pick off the characters if we can uh, and then these two have made it in no damage on overwatch uh, against the truck still with 10 tank busters inside we'll go on to combat resolution now for the Thousand Suns alright so combat's resolved here uh, Thousand Suns have made uh, some impact here this turn you can see a lot of stuff's removed from play uh, so charging in here we allocated most of our attacks onto the weird boy and killed him a couple of attacks into the pain boy and they managed to cause enough damage to destroy him as well we've since done morale rolled a five here for the orc boys and they've busted and gone as well so all of a sudden the orcs are gone uh, from this area gorkonauts still alive but the demon prince uh, has slain both of the characters here didn't consolidate just happy to sit where we are uh, but these two side by side now and then uh, across here the truck destroyed at uh, two boys lost as they clambered out yeah once the uh, those disembarked the model was removed uh, i consolidated in uh, just trying to stop them from firing and then attacks coming back uh, from uh, the tank busters almost brought down Beaker. He's taken two more wounds. Actually, five wounds here for these exalted sorcerers. So one wound left for him. Uh, so, but success here, tying up the tank busters. That was the plan. That's uh, one a great result here. Characters gone. I was trying to kill the big mech to stop him from doing repairs onto this Gorkonaut, and all the boy orcs removed from this area here as well. So all of a sudden, the Thousand Suns, I think, officially do have the upper hand now at this stage. We'll go on to the fourth turn. Gorkonaut's potent enough, or the Morkonaut uh, is potent enough, but uh, finding itself a bit isolated here at this stage. Perhaps the Warlord might be attempting target to take on, but we'll see what uh, Alex decides to do. Turn four coming up next for the Orcs. Not much left on the table. Right, so movement here. Alex has a plan. Uh, the jet's moved along. That'll be good for taking out uh, perhaps Chicken Wing, who's not in combat. Happy to remain in combat to pick off the last wound against Beaker. The Gorkonaut just sort of shuffling sideways <laughs> against the Demon Prince, getting ready to charge against him. Uh, a target here, maybe take on uh, 
I'll just go Inferno with some firepower, and then the long range firepower is also available here against the Terminator. So it's not over yet. Uh, Thousand Suns can't celebrate here at this point. I've got to be careful. The Gorkonaut is dangerous. We'll go on to shooting phase. No psychers now. So shooting phase next. All right, uh, shooting phase. Pretty good, actually. Uh, Stack up from the jet has put three wounds on chicken wings got two wounds left uh, fire powered uh, it's no damage here but terminators uh, two casualties taken on this squad two of the regular terminators removed uh, from play okay so shooting done uh, charges now epic showdown uh, Morkonaut versus demon prince coming up next all right so charges taking place alex keeping the angle here at sideways because he's got a uh, shorter range of distance to go back onto the objective so Survival. Can we survive the Gorkonaut? I doubt it, but we'll see. So three wounds to try and get through here. And you're going for the... Uh, smash. So 12 attacks. 12 attacks. Hitting on threes. Okay, it's good. That's what you need. And then... Uh, Strength eight, so threes again. Threes. Some have failed, but pretty going. Alex will be happy enough with that result, which is seven. And the damage? Uh, minus two, two damage. Two damage a time. Go after all these one at a time, sorry. <laughs> Just to see what happens. I've got three wounds left, so I can afford to foul one of these here. So, first one passes. It's going to get agonising for one of us here. I fouled. There's nothing I can do about this. Dice passed. That one's passed. Three left to go. Ah, you got him. Well done. The other one got him. And oh, again, wow. eight damage. Wow. Warlord slain. Significant point being picked up here. Demon Prince destroyed. Uh, there's no honour the chapter here. Strategy I can use, so Demon Prince removed from play. You can consolidate if you wish, which may be... It might be that direction. We'll see if Alex can or wants to consolidate here with the Morganop. All right, so we're on this combat down here. Uh, we've checked the rules. It says after all charge moves have been completed, uh, you're then free to make heroic interventions. So I've tucked him into the combat just there. Uh, so uh, Alex is going to get to fight first here with these tank busters. There's eight of them. We'll get seven regular boy attacks in the knob. Fighting at strength five, or we'll attack separately. Yes, yeah, so he's trying to pick up the last wound on Beaker. It'd be a great result if that Psyker's brought down as well. The Thousand Suns, immediately they start losing Psykers, they get in trouble. So let's we'll see if we can bring Beaker down at this stage. So five boys onto Beaker. Okay. Forced to wound. Forced to wound. Should be able to do it. There's two have made it through. Two saves. <laughs> Be tight here. Two saves the three plus. There's a five and a five. He's passed. It is down to the knob here. Who has a name? Oh, Rocket Ralph is fighting it. Right. Okay. See if Rocket Ralph can do it. Okay. Yeah. So uh, five boys have attacked here. Heroic intervention has taken place, but uh, Alex is still allowed to attack uh, Chicken Wing here. So he's declared two boys, and Rocket Ralph's going to go into him as well. So two boys first. Yep. Uh, three hits. Two. two wounds. This could be enough to bring the Psyker down. Three up save. Passed. And three up save. Passed again. And it's down to the knob. See if Ralph can do it. He's got himself two hits. Got himself two wounds. Well done. Three up save. Yes. And surely not another one. Five again. <laughs> These Psykers will not die here. Okay. So a chance for them to fight back. And they're powerful enough, these two, to actually wipe out this squad here potentially okay so we'll fight back with both of these sorcerers so we'll do both together eight attacks here in total we've all hit threes to wound it's almost to wipe out here it's uh, seven at ap minus one it's just going to leave the knob alive and uh, that's <laughs> horrific from them all right, so uh, result here, models removed from plate. I think this is an auto melt here from Ralph just discussing the situation with Ralph. <laughs> so I think he's going to back off the table. Um, so uh, he can go, yes, yeah, so that's him gone. Uh, the occult terminators, I'll roll them, but I think they passed four plus two, six, they're fine as well. So they've passed Ralph across the other side. Uh, diabolic strength can be removed, and that's the end of the turn here for the orcs. But uh, Thousand Suns, uh, there's two targets now to do with this. this 
Morkinaut, tough target for sure. Uh, and then the Flyer as well, which has proven to be a bane here uh, for the Thousand Suns. But that's it. We'll see if... Running out of models here for both sides to try and sit on these objectives. Uh, it's been an absolute slaughter here this game, but uh, very enjoyable so far. And uh, one of these armies is going to push on to victory. I doubt the game's going to be a draw here. We'll see. We'll go on to the Thousand Suns turn four coming up next. All right, so movement done here for the Thousand Suns on turn four. We've advanced both units to Terminators. Range and line of sight proving to be difficult here against the Morkonaut. Uh, but it's created an area for uh, Disco Inferno to jump back in between to try and protect him and keep that Psyker alive for as long as possible. Both sides are off the objectives here at this point during the game. Uh, then across here, just move these a little bit. We're playing these as ruins here, uh, so I'll take the two up save to try and protect them as much as possible. Uh, still in range of pistols and smite for these against the fly. It'll be good to try and bring that down if we can. That's movement done. Uh, shooting phase. Or psychic phase. Next. You're right, psychic phase is complete. Yes, uh, you can see what's <laughs> happened here. Uh, so uh, low grade smite coming through. Put a mortal. No, put three mortal wounds actually. Rolled an 11 coming through. Um, so good result there. Down to 12 wounds in total on the Morkonaut. But uh, we rolled for warp time and fouled. Smite double one. Two wounds left. Rolled a four. Two wounds taken. Unit destroyed. Uh, D3 mortal wounds on each of these. Three mortal wounds here uh, against these terminators. Two mortal wounds here. I need to put a wound on on him as well actually to represent that okay and then across the other side uh, mortal wounds coming through against the flyer it's down to three left uh, just here and temporal manipulation we restored three wounds onto beaker so psychic phase complete shooting phase next all right shooting phase complete uh, one wound cause uh, with two of the warp flame pistols firing through it's down to two wounds but still alive with the flyer and none of these could shoot because they all advanced shooting phase complete no charges we can't charge the flyer uh, beaker and chicken wing uh, can't fly high enough to reach the flyer so they both look like birds but they cannot fly okay so we'll go now on to turn five for the orcs I got, I got a suspicion that the game is going to end with just the Gorkonaut on the table. This is very, very tight. This is the tightest game of 40k in a long, long time. So we're going to see this through to a conclusion here. And again, at this stage, we have no idea who's going to win. It's still very, very close at this point. But we'll let Alex make his moves here. Okay, this is it. Flyers converged on this area here. It can't hold objectives, but uh, plenty of DACA available. And the Gorkonaut has parked himself on the objective, picking up uh, three points here at this stage. If the Orcs are clever, they could see this game through to victory if the game en ends early here. So, movement done. No psychic phase. We'll let Alex roll up for some DACA here. Okay, you're right. Shooting phase is complete. Uh, Terminators, that's the, the dice are gone, but it was a quadruple one and two twos here. Uh, the twos passed. It was Daka coming down from uh, the jets here, uh, but they're gone. That was the unit I needed to move on to the objective, so they've been taken away. Three casualties here now in total. That was firepower coming through from uh, the Morkonauts. So good firepower here from the Orcs. Uh, Alex had to fire in this direction because these models here were closer than the two psychers just over there that's the end of turn five here uh, the orcs will win at this stage they're sitting on the five point objective gorkonauts did take a mortal wound actually from its five powers it's down to 11 wounds left do the thousand suns have enough psychic ability to try and grind uh, this thing down difficult here uh, we'll go on to turn five possibly the last turn of the game with the thousand suns coming up next Right, so movement done for the Thousand Suns here. We're not going to advance, we're just shifting across. We're going to take the risk that the game goes on to turn six here. If you're still with us in this game, uh, it's going right to the wire here. That's the closest ever. <laughs> Could be a contender for that. We've advanced eight in total, 11 in total with these two. Swinging round, both of them, the closer target is the Morkonaut for smite. Just trying to... Make sure that the mortal wound is going against that if manifested. Okay, so movement done, psychic phase next. Right, psychic phase done. Low grade smite coming in from the aspiring sorcerers, put a mortal wound uh, 
on the jet. Across the other side, one smite foul, temporal manipulation went off, Beakers had a wound restored, and two mortal wounds in total uh, on the Morkonauts, down to nine left. So we'll go on to shooting phase next. All right, shooting phase complete here. We fired uh, the Inferno Combi Bolters up here and brought down the jet. And then one wound did come through with the Hellfire Missile Rack against the Morkonaut, but a save was passed on the six. Okay, we'll roll to see if the game continues. We'll just check the rules here to see who rolls this one. I don't think it really matters, but we'll just see who makes the roll here to decide what happens next. Uh, one, one or two, the game will end. Yeah, Alex gets the roll here. He had the first turn. No pressure. Oh, the game continues. We're going to go on to, <laughs> going to, go on to turn six. You would have won. He was hoping the, uh, that he would roll one or two there. But uh, we will have turn six here. So you're going to have to kill all the Thousand Sons to try and stop them. So I, I would say movement yeah. is going to be... Well, I might move a bit closer. So I <laughs> okay. There might be a little bit of movement here. We'll see what uh, Alex decides to do. He's got nine wounds left on the Morkonaut. Right, so movement's done. Yeah, what Alex has done is pulled away in that direction. It now means that the sorcerers are closer targets for his firepower. If you can take out the smite uh, causing psychers, then that will be very useful here uh, for this Morkonaut. We'll go on to shooting phase next. All right, so firepower is going to be, it's all declared here. He's going after chicken wing. And some firepower into the Terminators. It's the custom mega zapper. It's going to go into Terminators. Everything else against Chicken Wing. Okay. Here it comes. So, twin big shooter first against Chicken Wing. So the aim here is to try and hose down. It's good shooting. To hose down one of these psychers to get rid of them. And eliminate one of the smite possibilities. One extra shot. Three to wound. Oh, quadruple two. Just the one. Just the one comes through. Uh, so, three plus. Passed. Okay, so far so good. Uh, for these two sorcerers. Two rockets. Yeah, there's be enough to finish off one of these if it gets through. Gets the hits, a bonus shot. Okay, two's to wound. Minus two. Five pin one save. A chicken wing dies. He's gone. Okay, that's uh, this is good here for the orcs. We just, we just we've been talking about this game for the last half an hour or so, having visions of just the Morkonaut left on the table, and it's heading that way. Here, so now the firepower against the Terminators. If you wipe them out, it's just, it's just going to be these two facing off. This truly is the... It's got to be the closest game ever. Okay, here it comes. Heavy 3d3. Seven shots. That's good enough to wipe out the squad. Just looking at line of sight here. Yeah, now you can see them, no problem. Fives. Ah, oh, he's in line to get the wipe out. That's going to be a mortal wound. Knocking it down to eight. It could be the Morkonaut left on the board, with one wound remaining. <laughs> it could end up that way. Oh, so three. three wins. It's AP minus three. Yes. So we'll take a five plus in Vun save on these. They're not in cover. Gone. Uh, no, it, it's rolling up, but it's, it's highly likely that they're gone. So the first one oh. is a one, then becomes a two for the next one. So the last dice to wipe out the unit. Oh. Here's a five, well done. Terminator's gone. We're heading towards this vision here of just the Gorkonaut by itself on the table, securing victory for the Orcs. And if that's the case, I think that'll be the tightest game ever of 40k on the channel. I think I don't think we've ever had a game where one model's remained alive. Charge? Can't charge. Can't charge, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, right. So uh, that's it then. We'll hand over to turn six for the Thousand Sons. Eight wounds left, and only Beaker remains alive. Right, movement done. This has to be done. Even one of us is going to come out of this alive here. <laughs> so it's Beaker versus uh, the Morkonaut here. Movement done. Six inches straight towards uh, the Gorkonaut here. So we're going to psychic phase. Temporal manipulation. I'll try and restore my wound. Uh, yes, it is a six to make that go off. Um, so that wound can be removed from him. Do not. Perils. It goes off. Five. D3 mortal wounds. It is a six. Unbelievable. Three wounds caused. Five wounds left against the Gorkonaut. Okay. Or Morkonaut. Okay. 
charge and overwatch to come next i think we'll capture this on video here at this epic point in this game the battlefield empty here slain bodies all across the board imagine all the heaps of orc boys all slain the zangors slain terminators dead all the vehicles all the things destroyed the game is ending with just these two facing each other okay twin big shooters looking for sixes extra shot just the one threes for a wound Okay, survive. No, a wound taken. Oh, please, no. So, wound comes in. Uh, twin rockets. Oh, survived, okay. Custom Mega Blaster. Custom Mega uh, Zapper. This is the moment of truth here. Oh, no. Four shots. One six will do it. None. Oh, I suffer a wound, <laughs> And a mortal wound. <gasps> Unbelievable. Charge. He's in. We're going to get this here. We're going, to, we're going to have this combat take place. That wound can go to him. We'll attack them with four attacks. Needing twos. Rerolling ones. Five strength six. Toughness eight. Toughness eight. Fives to wound. Two of these must wound. Two of them do. It's AP minus one. You're bound to get a save here. Two saves of four plus. I save one, so you'll survive that two, down to two <laughs> wounds left. I can't believe this. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you could do your attacks back. Dam significant damage, though, so you'll be in the lowest bracket here with the Morkonaut. That might keep two Beaker attacks. alive. Two attacks going for smash, so hitting on, hitting on fives now. Fives of four attacks, or six attacks. Three hits. Twos. Oh, no. Minus two. Two damage. Five up in one save. First one. Passed. Next one. <laughs> Passed. And the last one. Two wounds taken. All right. So, yeah, got wounds hit. We'll add them on. End of turn. Uh, it's going to be a roll up to see if the game continues and you're sitting on your objective so uh, I think I roll this one I'll just check I've got a thing I think uh, we roll this one yeah no just checked it is uh, me that rolls here play it at the second turn so 4 plus we'll get turn 7 oh, this game is going to be concluded here unbelievable turn 7 straight onto the orc turn I'm, I'm there's no shooting so fall back. oh I can still shoot and charge Oh, unbelievable, yes, it's that rule. Oh, no, game over. Killer. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm give myself a portal, no, 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 you're absolutely superb. Yes, <laughs> quite. I would not I would have forgotten that rule if I was playing Orcs. But uh, Alex has remembered, and uh, a good memory is good. <laughs> helps you win games of 40k for sure. Okay, so let rip before everything you have. 3D3? The vision's going to be fulfilled here. <laughs> the lone Morkonaut on two wounds remaining. No, we said on two wounds remaining. Uh, I, I, I reckoned on one wound remaining. That's what we said. It could be the Morkonaut on one wound left. That is still possible when you roll this up because you can roll your ones to hit and you'll cause yourself a mortal wound. And then it will be one wound left. It it just, it's just, it's just going to happen. No, no, no mortal well, wounds get, this time. I get two daggers, so I'm bound to get a mortal wound this time. No, okay. Two's to end. Two. Beaker's gone. Five plus. <gasps> Five plus. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. The uh, uh, rocket launches. One hit. Got the hit, surely now. One wound. That's enough, yeah. This can't keep on. Roll again. He's gone. Three damage. That is it. The game ends here. We have one more Connaught left on the table. Everything else is slain. Unbelievable finish to a game. That is the tightest finish to a game we've ever had on the channel and I doubt that record is ever going to be beaten. Right, so points then, three points holding the objective. Both of us picked up Slay the Warlord and Alex got first blood. So five points to one, the Orcs win. Uh, but a, a close game, 
I doubt you'll see <laughs> in any of our other bad reports either that have been played or ones in the future. Unbelievable. Great game, for sure. Very enjoyable indeed. Every part of the game has been enjoyable. Love the way the game went, swung from one way to the next. It was going well for the Orcs. Thousand Suns bounced back. Orcs bounced back. And it went backwards and forwards that way uh, for pretty much the entire game until the very last combat there uh, to resolve this battle. But fantastic game here. Nice backdrop. Uh, here with this club train SSWG and uh, thanks to Alex for coming along debuting on the channel and bringing along his orcs it's been very enjoyable and it's been uh, a great combination this one actually Thousand Sons versus Orcs is a enjoyable game uh, for sure but uh, the game ends here with the orcs by the narrowest of margins uh, securing this area and picking up a great victory great game thanks for watching and tune in next time So just discussing the units of the game, pretty easy choices for both of us here. Uh, Alex is going to give it to the Morkonaut, solid and dependable during the game, and sat on the objective and wouldn't be moved, so that picks up unit of the game, closely followed by the Dakajet. Excellent firepower support coming from that every turn of the game. And then uh, for the Thousand Suns, it's got to go to those exal exalted sorcerers, an absolute scourge here, deadly psychic powers, uh, quick around the table, deadly in close combat as well with all of those attacks, uh, causing loads of damage throughout the game against infantry and vehicles uh, and characters alike. So that's units of the game for both sides. <laughs>